Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Mash from the Circle Club, and today I'm coming at you with a trailer reaction for HBO's The Last of Us. The first official trailer is dropped. You know, the teaser came out a little bit ago. There's a lot of buzz and excitement kind of generating around this. Some pretty awesome people are in this. And for those of you who are unfamiliar, and I don't know how you could be, The Last of Us is not only a critically acclaimed PlayStation game, a Sony game, but it's also one of the most iconic video games in probably the last few decades. I remember when it came out, it was one of the last games to come off uh, the PlayStation 3 era, right before PlayStation 4 hit, and it just took the world by storm. It is a game that a lot of people hold near and dear. The storytelling within it is just so emotionally powerful. So seeing this kind of brought to life on the big screen is gonna be wild. So, you know, without further ado, let's get into the trailer and uh, take a watch, huh? Your fiance is hope for the world. Ooh. My father going on. That's crazy. The clickers. Oh, fuck. Oh, yeah, those are gonna be scary. Oh, shit. Oh, but you will be family. Ooh. HBO be having like perfect budget. Somewhere out west, they're working on a cure. I think what really impressed them was the fact that I didn't turn into a monster. Hmm. So much as twitches. I can't. I forget. Ellie was a fucking wise ass, so it's it's gonna be awesome seeing her. Yep. Curse Chernobyl. Creative the acclaimed video game, yep. Do what I say when I say it. Ooh. Yeah, all the best way west. Yeah. Go east. Ooh. Man, I love the change of seasons. They're really this Oh, look at that. I'm glad that they're gonna lean into the survival elements of the show. I mean of the game. You're not gonna scare us. Scared you. Hmm. Yeah, this is there's some intense moments in this game, so I'm interested to see how they capture it. You know, the fireflies, you got all the uh Oh Ashley Johnson. Be careful who you put your face Oh Ron Swanson's in this shit. It might not be her father. She was oh no, not that character. Yeah, this is gonna. Ooh. Oh my god, I just got chills on a couple of those scenes because it's been a while since I watched, since I've seen stuff from the game. Oh, that is such a good clicker, bro, dude. Wow, they really brought the friggin' man. They brought the stops out with that one. Sheesh. Just the scale and the budget that HBO has when it comes to making this kind of content. It's all you want. We have a little bit of a Game of Thrones reunion. We have Pedro Pascal playing the role of Joel and Bella Ramsey playing the role of Ellie. And if you guys don't remember, Pedro Pascal was Oberyn Martell, the first character of his that captured all of our hearts. And Bella Ramsey played the incredible role of Leanna Mormont. Both of them each playing a performance that stole the show. For those two to get the chance to be leads in this role together is incredible. All the stuff that I've heard about it has been just immaculate. Pedro Pascal is one of the best actors out right now in terms of just charisma and just like kind-heartedness. He just seems like a genuine actor. The Last of Us is essentially a, a movie. Like, let's be real, it's a playable movie. So to see these character relationships and Ellie's personality and how she's coping with the situation and the internal struggle of Joel, him dealing with his own internal struggles and seeing that kind of manifest through their efforts of surviving is just gonna be nuts, man. Like, bro, I I'm gonna do a reaction. I'm, I'm reacting to this. So I'm super duper excited. One thing that was really awesome that's in this trailer and I read about it, there's a clip, you can see a newborn baby right here, literally right here, perfect. This clip, this is supposed supposedly Ellie's birth and her mother it's been rumored that her mother is being played by Ashley Johnson and Ashley Johnson was the voice actor for Ellie in the game so for her to like be immortalized in this role is is heartwarming it's beautiful even that alone 
just gives me a sense of like the care and tactility that they're approaching this with. This is probably going to be like one of the best shows of the year. I'm getting chills just thinking about it because I know how much it's going to hurt us all. Uh, one thing I do want to state, this happens a lot when these video game adaptations come out and especially for a game that was universally loved when it came out and the sequel that dropped was very contentious on the internet. Gross discourse involving it. People's reactions to the story decisions they made. Not going to get into it because it spoils this. I have high expectations for this because of the quality that they've exhibited and the quality of the storytelling that I already know. They can't fit all of it in here and y'all just got to be cool with it. It seems like they're going to fit a lot, but they can't fit everything. So just enjoy the ride. I know what a lot of the time we look at this as like, this is the only chance that we'd ever get to see this game immortalized in a movie. And it has to be perfect. It has to be everything that I've ever loved of the video game in the show. The game itself wasn't perfect. Nothing's ever really perfect. So let the show speak to you in the way it's going to speak to you. If you don't like it, that's fine. You know, maybe just go back to the video game and play that. If you give the storytellers a chance to speak to you, you might be surprised. So all I got to say is, I'm super excited for this. Thank you everyone involved. This is gonna be super friggin' dope and I cannot wait. So once again, you know, I'm, I'm Matt with The Circle Club. Thanks for joining me today. And uh, remember, just be you. Take it easy, yo. Oh.